I'm Josie. I'm 28 years old, I'm spoiled and entitled, and there's nothing wrong with that. I'm a gold digger, G-O-A-L. Has Josie really changed anything since she's been on the show before? Oh, there's no way I'm, I can carry Chase. I have on $1,000 boots and a coat, and, and I'm going to spill it because I'm a club. What do you choose to put out there? I choose whatever works, Lisa. My boobs are like my best asset. Do you mean that literally? Yes, I was born with nice boobs. I'm determined to marry an A-list director, producer, who's tall, handsome, Jewish, professional, highly educated, and yes, who could open a couple doors to my career. You are not a real man. You are looking for a woman who can offer you something, OK? Wow. So she is more wow. successful than you. My mother always taught me, since I'm tall, I'm good looking, I'm highly educated, that I deserve a man of my caliber. I posted my profile on JD, this Jewish website looking for a husband. I got found by casting director. I've been on Farmer Wants a Wife on The CW. My name is Josie. I think of myself as a 10 plus. That's part of being a Republican. I feel like a winner. I'm going to a farm in the Midwest. I kind of need something sexy, flashy, kind of farmery. I'm looking for a real man. I'm sick of all these men in LA who are losers. I think this would be a wonderful lifestyle. Riding horses, going to polo matches. The farmer's wife doesn't work. I mean, she has people who work for her. No respectable woman is going to chase chickens like that. Move, 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 honey, move. It is gross. A lady should act like a lady. I'm the best worker here. Come on, piggies, let's go. It seemed like everybody gave it their best, with the exception of Josie. Millionaire matchmaker on Bravo. You can't do that. Out. Out. No, no, no. Out. 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 Why is he take you a husband, Daddy? Josie. Shut up. You can't even get, get married. Out. You're 45 years old, and Josie. you can't get to I do. I mean, I'm a versatile, what do you call it, triple threat, quadruple threat. The paparazzi, for some reason, seems to love me. I ended up posing for Playboy. A glamorous models like FHM, Playboy, Maxim. I'm not a size two but I'm not a size 10. Do you think I'm beautiful? What's, what's uh, wrong with that? I mean, you're too old for me. I mean, you have a wife, but do you think I'm a, <laughs> do you think I'm a beautiful woman? <laughs> no, I'm just being honest. Like, no, I'll, I'll be honest with you. I, I, think you. I think you have an attractive presentation. Okay. I was in South Beach, Miami, and the next day, everybody starts calling me like, oh my God, you made the page six of the New York Post. I say a lot of controversial things. Calm down, let, let's talk like normal human beings. I, I hope you were drug tested this morning. I hope you're normal. <laughs> It's like the African-American community. When their men hit the top and they are successful, they marry a white woman and that's not fair. And same with the Jewish community. With the Jewish community or the African-American community have I offended a lot of African-American women. Some are for what I said and some are against, but that's what- are in interracial relationships. Why don't you have more confidence in your intelligence? Because I don't feel like that's my selling point. I wish six months ago I would have gotten my reality show, made $20 million a year, been on every magazine and got so to... So you know people don't make $20 million on reality shows, right? Well, I would have because I'm successful at what I do. But you were born with looks, brains, and connections. So for you, you kind of had a path. But for other women, like, like they were talking about the Kardashians, you know, the, the Kardashians, if, if she was born with a nice, big, juicy butt, and she could make a sex tape, that's the best she could do, Dr. Phil. Actually, I think that's actually very insulting. Why uh, is that insulting? Because I, I think Lisa is very accomplished in her own right. Always getting in trouble. I want to see what happened when Josie flew to New York to be Kelly's intern during a fashion shoot. Take a look. That's amazing. Kelly okay. Catron, my favorite person. Oh, really? That's funny. Yeah, I brought How are you flowers. Cause... Okay, well, why don't we put them down and we'll do a gift exchange at the end of your Oh, uh, you have program. a gift for me, too? Listen, I'm in the middle of a job, and I know you think you're funny and everything, but I don't find you so funny. Can you get a pen and take a drink order for us? I wanted a triple shot, non-fat soy latte with Tri half Hold on one second. Triple shot. The triple shot, <laughs> non-fat soy latte. And the Ruskies, cafe latte, no sugar. They're like supermodels. They don't really want to be called Ruskies. Really? No. Did you help them get their visas or no, Kelly? I swear okay. to God, if you don't do what you're asked to, you can just like stay outside. Because okay. you've already taken way too much. Of, like we've well, I'm done. I'm sorry, it's my first this time. Is, it's I've it's never a coffee gone. order. Hey guys, bad news. The models. We're gonna pretend like it's the Soviet times. We only got two for the three of you, so it's okay. And then I, Kelly, I What got are you, you talking about? You got two for the three of them? Well, I accidentally only got two instead of three. So you have to go back and get another no, one. No, no, it's OK. These are Soviet times. No, the they, first of all, I'm going to just tell you something. I've had enough of you. You're fired. Goodbye. Oh, I'm fired already? Yeah. Have a nice okay. day. OK. See okay. you later. OK, OK.
Have a good life. Josie Goldberg is not going to be a little loser sitting at home crying over David Milch and, and, and a failed actor who told me that he believes in me and for six months of my life, like, I believe this person and I worked with my ass off. You know, if I could host the Russian radio show, you know, I'm the next doctor Phil and Oprah. I'm bitter towards Matt. He just wants a woman to work. Matt, what a bastard, yeah. Bastard.